Hello you guys, what is up? It's Malastasia and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing an Animal Crossing New Horizons Let's Play. Woo, that was a lot. I recently picked up playing Animal Crossing again after being burnt down on it for a little bit and I figured, you know, why not bring you guys along? They just came out with a new fall update a couple weeks ago and it just makes my little spoopy heart so happy and so I figured that you guys might like it too. I've already dipped my toes into the water a little bit and I just can't wait to share it with you guys. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my island uh, to kind of just get everything kick started. So please be kind because there is a lot of stuff that needs to be done. It, there's a lot of stuff that is a work in progress so yeah. Let's go ahead and get into it. I wanted to do an island tour for you guys and kind of take you along on the journey of making my island cottage core, city in the forest, kind of Parisian vibe. <laughs> it does not match up like at all, but I really hope that you guys can kind of get my vibe, get what I'm going for, you know? I recently fell down the rabbit hole here on YouTube of island tours and it just... <laughs> gave me the immediate desire to rethink my entire island. And me being the way that I am, I wanted to redo my entire island. So that is what we're gonna be doing. And I wanted to start off with an island tour for you guys. Don't judge me, I never <laughs> finished my island. I have a lot of unfinished pro uh, projects and it's got a lot of work. But I also think it's pretty cute also, but just not cute enough. So when you first walk in, there originally this was not here, this was blocked off, but I, I just knocked it down. Uh, whatever you walk in, oh, also my island's name is Jurassic, so it's Jurassic Island. I thought that was pretty cool, <laughs> but it's not dinosaur themed. You walk in this way, and it's got these waterfalls. And then you come out this way, and there is a little canal with bridges. The reason that I liked this little path is because this was broken off and I am in a Facebook group where they do like a lot of uh, DIY giveaways or we give stuff away for free or do swaps and so I set up this little island with things that I have extras of and just giving stuff away for free. So I had that down there. And then you come out and you go over to this little canal area with bridges. And I love this little, like, marketplace plant shop thing. It's really cute. I like this a lot. I'm gonna keep that for sure. And then, <laughs> this looks weird because I, uh, I overwrote a customization. And so, I just gotta re-customize re that. Uh, but then I have these cute little waterfalls, another bridge, and these little nooks for people to have, like, little dates or to read a book. I think it's really cute. And a little sweet shop right here. So then whenever we go up, I have this house here, which is my secondary account that I made, that I'm going to use as a dim sum restaurant. And I have not started doing that at all. So you guys are going to get to see the full, full renovation of it. And then we come up here and I have these little vending machines with these park benches and um, the bike spots. I think it's really cute. Oh, the butterflies are so cute. And then you go up here and this is also incomplete. I need to add another stone staircase here and I'm thinking I might push the museum back a little bit so I can put the dinosaur, the triceratops over in front of it. But I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, my camellias are no longer blooming because I did this in the winter. You come up, it's my museum, and then there's a little stargazing date spot and I think it is so, so cute. Um, I want to put maybe some... Uh, candle lights and stuff out. I think that broke. <laughs> so then we have a little stage here for band rehearsals. I need to get a drum set and I think that's like the last thing that I need up here is a drum set. There's some other things I'm sure that I could get. I put a little nice little double sofa here so that 
you know? The groupies can hang out <laughs> in the video camera. So then over here is a little cafe sweet shop. And great service. Great service, this man. All right. And then I was thinking about putting maybe a table over here or another couch. They should really, oh man, how cool would it be if they implemented animals into the game, like cats or dogs? Like, I guess that is kind of weird because the residents are animals. <laughs> so, I don't, hmm. But also they have hamsters in game. So I don't see why not. Cats, taking care of cats, I don't know. A little weird. All right, and then we have this little campfire here. Cute. I am not finished with all that yet. I have a little tarot reading stall. This is supposed to be a little marketplace. So you come down from this way and I have a little bee, a honey stand, tarot, uh, and some ramen, and then <laughs> a grill back there for some reason. Uh, let's see. And then you come down and around, and this is my Nook's Cranny, and then my Plaza. And then this is my little pumpkin patch slash orchard area, which I love. And yeah, so then you can come down this way. And I've got a little coconut growing area. And then the orchard goes all the way around, and it brings us back over here to the Able Sisters. I feel like my island doesn't have a really good flow. Like, it kind of flows, but it doesn't have that good flow to where everything kind of, like, naturally takes you down these paths. So then we go up here across these waterfalls, and this is the resident area. So this is where all of the animal residents live? Oh, hold up, my homie needs to talk to me. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> Aw, how nice. All right, so, here is the resident area. Over here, this is Megan's house. Megan is a cute little pink bear, and this is Drake's house. And then this is Chops' house. And then up here is Sherry's house, I believe. Oops. Yes, she is a, a sisterly monkey, I believe is what hers is. This is Bruce, otherwise corpse as Animal Crossing form. And then this one is Pierce. He is the jock eagle. And... We already did Sherry. Up here is Vivian. She is... She's preppy. And then this is Cashmere. Cashmere is odd. And then this is... Ooh, hold on. I want to guess. Pango's house. Yep. And then this is Wade. Wade is... I think he was my first... I think... No, Pierce was my first. Wade was my... Pierce was my first that automatically came. Uh, Wade was my first choice whenever I went island hopping. Oh yeah, sorry. Touring. So then we'll go up here and I have a little vending machine. I would love to put a little park bench, uh, like what's by the bikes right here. I think that would look cute. I love how in Japan they have uh, like coffee vending machines and snack vending machines and stuff uh, in neighborhoods. So that's kind of like what I wanted to do. And then come over here and I have a little lighthouse overlooking a waterfall. Still a lot to do. And then if we come back here, we can sneak back here and jump over my secret path. Then I have an extra pumpkin space with um, the campsite. And then I'm gonna set up a picnic table, uh, kind of like a Mad Hatter picnic table day area-ish, like a tea party. And then lavender and bee farm right here. I wanna use the purple hissints. Hissints. So if you come down here, this is where uh, Chops' house is, and then there's a secret path that leads back to 
my secret beach. And then you come in here, and it is a cemetery cinema. And it's so, so, so cute. I love it. I think this is probably my favorite part of my island. And it's really, really cute at night whenever the lights are on. It's, it's great. All right, and then we have a little popcorn stand with the skeleton. And I just, it's cute. You can also reach the cemetery from this way. Um, it's kind of a secret little hidden path. It's a little hidden gem. Not so hidden, but kind of hidden because it's not super obvious. So then we come over here and go down and we'll go to my house. And so this is my house up here. I've got a little bit more real estate because I do enough for this island. <laughs> so then I've got a cute little fire pit um, campfire going and a book under a tree, which I think is really sweet and a little greenhouse utility shed area. I There's a lot more that I would love to do with this, uh, but I think I want to focus more on the rest of my island before I actually do anything for moi. And then we'll go into my house. My house is not great. It's not great. It's got some cute features, but it's it's got a lot of work to do. I'll be completely honest. So when you walk in, I've got a little island over here with a mini fridge and my birthday cake. And then over here, I like this part. This part's just about like the only thing that I like in this room, to be honest. Besides the birthday cake. It's cute. Um, the fireplace just kind of makes it so homey and I love it. So there's that. And then we go into the bathroom. The bathroom is decked out, I do have to say. I really like my bathroom. I just had the most stuff for it. I think the walls are super cute. The mirror is a customs design, which I think is really cute. Uh, I have a mirror just like it, IRL. And I have my hanging wall plant uh, terrarium, some diffusers, the steamy bathtub, the wicker. It's just really cute. There's really not much else that I would do. It's I like it. I think it's cute. It flows nice. I wish I had that bathroom in real life. Let's finish with this island tour. So we go across this bridge over here and we come down and there is a pool area. And then we go down here and there is a workout little area. And then we go, to, ooh, a bottle. Then we'll go up and there's not much. There's, um, <laughs> really? I don't want to wake you up right now. Um, we're just going to leave him there. We'll go up this way. Alright. So this is really cute. I also really like this feature. It's something that I saw on Pinterest and I know I just really wanted to do it. But you go across this bridge, and it is a crescent moon little island. I love it so much. My moon is a little bit wonky, because um, it changed shape after I put the bridge in, but that's okay. I'll fix it eventually. And then this was going to be a little witch's circle, as you can tell with the little mushrooms, but then I had to expand over here more with uh, the residents. So I don't know... I don't know if I'm going to keep this area here. I might move it. Who knows? But cute. I also like how my house, if you go up and hang out up there, it overlooks onto the Crescent Island lake thing. And also, did you spot my TARDIS? I love it. And lastly, I have this little area back here. Um... Nothing special. I just basically took all of my my bamboo and my imperial stuff back here for this little bathhouse. Um, there's a lot more that I want to do to it if I even keep it in that area. But, oh, I forgot he's there. Um, I just, I didn't want that stuff to take up in the storage, so I placed it all together. And that is it for my my house my my island there we go 
I'm pretty sure that's it for my island. That's Vivian. She's the preppy one. Oh! No, I didn't show- did I show you the fountain? I don't think I showed it to you, but I ran past it a few times. So, this is my little fountain area. I also saw that on Pinterest and I knew I just really wanted to do it. So yeah. Oh, and down here I have this little beach area next to the pier dock thing. Um, just a cute little hangout spot that you can... Uh, let's see. Uh... Play some music and jam out. Have some party jam sessions down here. But yeah. That is it for my island tour. In the next videos that I'll be doing, I am just going to be running around doing construction on it, crafting things, just making this island the absolutely most perfect that I possibly can. I know it'll never truly be perfect, but I want to get it as close as possible to where I'm really happy with it. And then maybe you guys could come and take tours of my island. So I would love that so much. We're going to make this place cute. I just know it. If you guys have any uh, islands that you would like to see me tour, I would absolutely love to do that. So just let me know down below which islands you would love to see me tour. Leave me a code or something. If you want me to come and tour your island and feature it on my channel, I would <laughs> love to do that as well. So just let me know. I also wanted to just let you guys know that I will be streaming on Twitch on Mondays and Fridays. I'm not sure what time exactly yet, um, but just to give you a little bit of a heads up, I am now going to start streaming and I'm so, so, so excited. So hopefully that goes well. I've never done it before, so we'll see how it goes. Put my arm in something. All right, I hope that you guys have a beautiful day and of course stay excellent. Bye!